Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this Tinderbox lesson, we're going to talk about operators, and specifically dot operators, and two operators in particular, the dot i contains and the dot i format. Um, so let's jump right in, and we'll go ahead and show you how that works. So here we are. Uh, we have our Tinderbox file and the Tinderbox reference file. This is a great resource for you, and I'll put the URL in the comments uh, section of this video. Uh, and as you're looking in this, you can learn about the specifically and jump down to dot operators, which is the focus of this lesson today. And we're going to be focusing on two operators in particular, the dot I contains operator and the dot I formats operator. Now, what the, uh, uh, the contains and I contains uh, operators allow you to do is to actually query against your attributes um, when you're when you're running different function uh, action functions within Tinderbox, and specifically what Tinderbox is looking for is um, patterns. And so, for example, oops, sorry, uh, I clicked on that link. What Tinderbox is looking for is patterns. So, for example, search this particular list or set for a pattern. And a pattern in this example um, would be. For example, uh, the, the word consumer or a pattern could be the word tech company. Now, there's a number of ways to search within Tinderbox. So, for example, I can do a find, um, but a find is just going to be a one time look uh, search for a particular thing. And find in, in particular is only looking for either information within the text field of a note or the name of the note. If you want to be searching against attributes, you're going to want to be using uh, action query code, which is essentially agents uh, as one example, or you can use them in the attribute browsers or other functions within um, Tinderbox. But for this particular uh, lesson, we're going to focus on using an agent. So I'm going to create an agent. And again, an agent is a mechanism that I can use within Tinderbox to go query and look for information. And so this is uh, the agent's going to pop up and says, well, what do you want to look for? Well, in this context, I want to look for under the attribute sector. Uh, and let me move this out of the way. Um, I'm going to look under the attribute, attribute sector. I want to look for um, the word... Uh, you know, I contains, and I'm going to use I contains versus contains as I, I don't want, I don't care, I don't want the um, uh, pattern I'm looking for to be um, uh, capitalized sensitive. So by saying I contains, it's not capital sensitive. And I want to say find the company, find all of the companies that have tech companies as their element within their, um, within their sector attribute. So I'll go ahead and search. And you'll see nearly instantaneously, Tinderbox went out and found the two companies, company A and company B, that have the sector tech company. And if you see company C does not, it's the tech company um, uh, consumer. Now, let me you know, push this down to the bottom just to keep it out of the way here. Um, now, what's interesting here too, remember I ran the query and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, visualize the uh, agent query um, so we can see it here. You'll see I ran the query and notice I, I didn't capitalize C. Well, that's okay because I use the dot operator I contains. If I use the dot operator contains, you'll notice that the uh, result will actually fail because Tinderbox can actually be case sensitive. And so when we go rerun that agent, you'll see that these two um, elements are going to disappear because now they don't match the pattern. The pattern I'm telling Tinderbox to do in this case is go find tech uh, with lowercase c company. And in fact, the patterns are uh, both capitalized with uppercase uh, c. So uh, Tinderbox uh, won't recognize that. But again, if I use the dot operator I contains, which is case insensitive, um, then when I run that, you'll see that they, uh, when I run the agent uh, and force it to run, um, you'll see that it will go and find those companies again. So that's how do you use the uh, the I contains or dot contains dot operator. Again, the dot operator is a uh, essentially an operation that you can run against an attribute when you're running a particular query or uh, or other types of action code. Now, here's where things get a little interesting: is the set of the 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 attribute sector is a set. And as we've seen in other lessons, you can have any number of different types uh, associated with your data. And in this case, we're a set. And um, what's interesting within Tinderbox is when you're searching on a set in Tinderbox, uh, Tinderbox is looking for an exact pattern, tech company, 
or as we said in what the eye contains tech you know uh, you know independent of, of case sensitivity um, what that is now watch what happens though if i change the pattern to just tech now logic would suggest that tinderbox would go find all of the companies that have tech in their sector but again remember uh, tinderbox is looking for an exact pattern in this context when it's searching against sets and so it's not going to find anything because again the dot i contains operator in this situation is looking for the pattern tech well guess what company a does not meet that pattern because it's actually the pattern of tech company nor does company c uh, b and company c does not so the question is how do we search our set attributes uh, to look for just say one word or one part of um, a, uh, a, um, a value that is in the attribute uh, for a particular uh, string. Well, there is a way around doing that. And this is the beautiful thing about Tinderbox is you can actually string dot operators together. And so now what we're gonna use is another dot operator. And again, you can look it up in ATREF to learn more about it, uh, is the format operator. And what we're gonna say is dot format and then we're going to tell it, well, what format do we want to do? We want to do a set it to a string format. And the uh, syntax for doing that is a semicolon. So essentially now what we're doing in the search is we're telling Tinderbox to go search the attribute sector, format that, that attribute to a string. So an effectively on the fly, turn the set sector into a string and then run the I contains um uh, uh operator looking for the pattern tech so what that does now is that says tinderbox take the sector turn it into a string and now that will allow tinderbox to look for just one word within the string as opposed to the exact pattern and so when we do that what you're going to see is company a, a and b are going to show up in the search and they do so instantaneously moreover if we go and add the word tech to the company c string guess what Company, uh, company C is also going to show up in the results because it's now going to match the pattern um, having tech uh, within, uh, within, that, uh, within that name. And we can go ahead and drill down here and you'll actually see now that company C is there as well now because it too now matches the pattern because it's looking for a string. And again, we can go ahead and remove that. Call it consumer again. And you'll see as soon as we run the agent, uh, company C will disappear and you're only going to get the, uh, the two remaining um, elements left. Let's go ahead and run that agent again. Okay, and you'll see C just disappeared and we have the A and B uh, agents that are, are, are notes left and left. So that's how you use the dot operator in this context. And so one way, another language to think about looking at this is what we'll call um, wildcard search or any number uh, of different kind of search parameters where effectively you're able to use the dot format dot operator as a means to essentially on the fly change the type of an attribute um, so that you can manipulate the data, transform the data in real time and run the types of searches and manipulations that you want to uh, perform on that particular attribute. And again, um, this is just a small sh one example of the power of Tinderbox and your ability to actually transform data on the fly to make your text come to life and do with it what you need um, as you're conducting your research and wor uh, working with your projects.